Hey folks, it's Kimberly Hobscheid from Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel and I am in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida today. Uh, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. The people are amazing, um, having a lot of fun. I actually had a really good discussion with one of my students today with regard to uh, making sure that you know what your customer wants. And I know that seems like straightforward and easy um, because you assume what they want and you've been through it enough that you know what they want. But one of the most important things you can do as an entrepreneur is to actually ask, like just put it out there and actually say something like, hey, what can I do to make your life a little bit better that makes your, uh, what you need to get out of this uh, program or this service or this product just that much better? What can I do in order to make it more powerful as an experience for you? And when you ask that, you actually get information that you never would have thought of yourself. Now this, I've told many people a couple of stories about this. Uh, one was the first time I ever did a course. Um, I had all kinds of plans for what I was gonna teach in my six weeks. And then my mentor said, hey, why don't you put up a big white sheet in the very beginning and, and ask your students when they come in the first day, what do you wanna learn? And I thought, oh no, absolutely not. That would make me not look like the expert, right? Then I'm supposed to know what they need to learn. So how could I possibly ask? That just makes me look not like the expert. Totally false, absolutely false premise. Um, I went ahead and did follow my uh, the guidance of a mentor that I had, um, which you should you should definitely consider doing if you've ever resisted uh, following the guidance of a mentor. Definitely consider not resisting that. So I went ahead and put up a whiteboard, uh, a white sheet of paper up, and we actually um, jotted down a whole bunch of stuff that they wanted to learn. And I, I remember the physical change in my body, thinking, "Wow, I never would have thought that they didn't know that, or that they needed to know that." Um, I could absolutely teach that, but that was a surprise, and I probably wouldn't have taught that had they not, had I not asked, right? Just ask what they really want to learn. Um, the second one is I actually had a mastermind uh, group that I was running one time, and a bunch of people came in, and we had one person get on the hot seat, said he was having a lot of trouble with a business he had just launched, and so I said, absolutely, let's get you on the hot seat. Now, a hot seat is where um, one person, it's, it's usually in a mastermind or a group of, of like-minded people um, who can help you with an issue or a problem. So one person uh, sits on what we call a hot seat. Basically, it's just that person is the focus of um, the time and attention of the other people. So they get on the hot seat and share their problem, share what it is that's wrong or they're having struggles with. And then the other people, once they're finished with that, um, they actually chime in with suggestions and answers and um, helpful tips and things like that. Now the trick with the hot seat is that usually um, the person in the hot seat says things like, oh no, that will never work and here's why, or yeah, I already tried that and it's not gonna work. And the trick with a hot seat, if you're ever on one, is just to say, thanks, that was helpful. Now the reason that you do that is because you don't wanna shut down the other suggestions. As soon as you say, nope, I already tried that, the other people who have other suggestions in the room will be like, oh, they're just not even gonna listen. So they won't offer those suggestions. So if you're ever in a hot seat situation where somebody else is helping you, what you need to do is say, thanks, that was helpful. Don't offer a whole lot of clarity or explain why it's not gonna work or explain that you already tried that because honestly, it just shuts down the creativity in the room. So we made that rule up front. So he tells us his problem, here's his problem. So he said, um, you know, I created this uh, video series and it was, um, it was about how to do marketing, right? And it was a, a 12 video series and we recorded it in high 4K. I actually had uh, some people fly in to record this specifically on our, um, on a like a really high level, get excellent production quality, recorded all 12 videos. I think the videos were two hours long each or something really enormous. Um, and he said, and I packaged it up in a really good program, put it online on an online learning platform, and then uh, put it up for sale and I got crickets. And what he meant by that is he didn't get any sales, he didn't get any noise, he didn't get any comments, he didn't get any anything. It's just with silence and you could hear the crickets chirping, right? So we call him crickets, he's a lovely guy, but yeah. So, um, and he said, I, I wanna know what I, went, I did wrong. And I thought, well, many things, sweetheart, but actually the most important thing is the number one thing that we talked about in the beginning of this video. And that is ask your clients what they want before you create a program, right? So ask your clients, what they actually wanted. Now, if he had gone out and done some market research and found out exactly what they wanted, in what way it should be delivered, in how many videos, in how many, whatever. Um, if you survey your audience in advance of actually creating a product or service, then you can create a product or service that they want, not your best idea for a product or service because what you think is awesome is awesome for you. So if you're selling it to you, 
fantastic. You just made a really great sale. But if you're selling it to other human beings on the planet, you're going to need to find out what they want to buy. All right. Now, there's a difference between what they need to buy, what they need to, what they want to buy, and what they need to have. Um, and there is sometimes a discrepancy in that. So sometimes people want to buy uh, like a super easy program to launch something. Um, like, you know, if you're buying a CRM, you want something super easy. And so you're gonna sell super easy. Um, you're gonna sell fast to implement. You're gonna sell all of those things. But what they actually need on top of that is a robust software that's not gonna let them down later. So you give them what they need and you sell them what they want, all right? So I hope that was, it was kind of a lot of information and a couple of different stories, but I hope that was helpful for you as you're developing new products and services in your business. Definitely survey your market, make sure that, that you know what they are looking for, what they wanna buy, um, and what you could do to make their life a little bit easier and a little bit more amazing in 2020, or, um, or as you're rolling out this new program, what you could actually do to, to serve them better. And there's nothing wrong with actually focusing on your customer and making sure that you're serving them in the best way possible. Um, number two is just make sure that when you're out there that you are serving your customer and you're not serving yourself, right? I mean, definitely serve yourself too. You gotta make this about what you want, um, but if you're gonna sell it to other people, you gotta make sure it includes what they want, all right? So give them what they need and sell them what they want is a really good methodology. Just be sure that you're actually giving them what they need along the way. All right, folks, this was kind of a long one. I'm Kimberly Hobshide with Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's totally great to be an entrepreneur on the go, on the travel, uh, to be sort of a nomad, if you will, and be able to see some beautiful beaches and work from anywhere. If you don't already have a mentor or a guide or a coach or somebody amazing and fun that you're working with that's gonna help you get your business to the next level and help you get to where you wanna go, I would love to talk to you. Go to entrepreneursrocketfuel.com forward slash apply and fill in an application. You and I will get on the phone, we'll chat a little bit about where your business is and where you want it to be and where you wanna go in the world and, show, and how you wanna show up in the world. And if I don't have a program or service that works for you, I'll just ask you for permission to make sure that I can refer you out to somebody amazing because I have an incredible network of really great human beings that can help you get to where you wanna go. If I'm not it, I'm definitely gonna recommend that you talk to somebody else. Um, but if you don't have a mentor or a guide or a coach, definitely go out and get one because they can help you expedite to where you wanna go a lot faster. All right, folks, I'm Kimberly Hobshide with Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel and I look forward to working with you. Cheers.